The world watched Salt Lake City in 2002, and today we learned so did the NSA and FBI. The Wall Street Journal reports both agencies monitored all email and text messages in the Salt Lake area, and the revelation has reignited a debate on data collection. Fox 13's Ben Winslow reports. I think that, that is a vast overreach of uh, law enforcement into the lives of ordinary and innocent people. The Wall Street Journal reports that in the months after the 9-11 attacks and leading up to the 2002 fix, the NSA and the FBI monitored all email and text communications in the Salt Lake City area. The program fell under then-President Bush's warrantless wiretapping program that didn't seek court approval. It bothers me. It bothers me significantly. Congressman Rob Bishop says he wants to review what the NSA did in Salt Lake City. What they do with people within the country is different than what we do outside this country. Um, I, I want to look at this one more time. This, this bothers me seriously. Remember, we were very concerned about terrorism and terrorist activities at that time. But Senator Orrin Hatch defended the surveillance then and now. But I want people to know that these people at NSA are doing absolutely critical work for our country, and had they not been doing it, we might very well have had some more terrorist incidents like 9-11. Uh, the ACLU of Utah says it worries that the emails and other data collected is still in the hands of the NSA and will end up here at the agency's data facility in Bluffdale. They are now sitting in our backyard, literally. Construction is almost complete on the NSA's massive data facility here in Bluffdale. The facility is rumored to come online sometime in the next couple of months. Utah politicians were clamoring for the data center to come here. They were very eager for the job creation that it would produce. Cotter Boyack, the president of the libertarian think tank, the Libertas Institute, is demanding more transparency. But look at the legacy. Look at the next few decades of the, the landmark facility we're going to have here in our backyard. And now we know that a decade ago, uh, Salt Lake City residents, you being cataloged and targeted by the NSA as well. In Bluffdale, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah. The NSA released a statement to Fox News today saying NSA's Signals Intelligence mission is centered on defeating foreign adversaries who aim to harm the country. We defend the United States from such threats while fiercely working to protect the privacy rights of U.S. citizens. It's not either or, it's both.